was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever feed me. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. My name is Enzo. And I'm Davey. And today we're doing a review. So today we're talking about Brazi Bites, which are, uh, it's Brazilian cheese bread. And this is one of the flavors of this company. They also do, uh, they also do cheddar, parmesan, garlic and asiago, and cinnamon churros uh, flavors. So they, and, they, and I think they also have an empanada line as well. They're gluten free, which is lovely. Uh, there's 18 pieces in here. <clears throat> they're also, in addition, in addition to being gluten-free, they're trans fat-free, mm. sugar-free, mm. and soy-free. Mm. So right. the ingredients are Parmesan cheese, cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, tapioca flour, tomato, water, milk, safflower oil, salt and spices, and eggs. We're gonna pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes uh, and then uh, taste them and see how they, they uh, Taste. Taste. Hmm. 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 Little nuggets. That's what they look like. They look like scallops. Uh, yeah. Or it's like. Really, it's really weird. They're like baby flan. Well, it looks like we're eating all of them, huh? Yeah, we sure are. Oh they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Um, they I, still look like they're gonna be little. They're gonna be like little, little stones in my belly. I thought they were um, a little bigger, mm. but I guess not. So, I'm gonna put them on the. Uh, the yeah, old see, sheet. that's why I'm thinking about like flattening these out. They're gonna be tiny, tiny, tiny little. Here's the scissors. Those are like together. Let's just keep them together. They want to be together. Hey, they want to be together. I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna let them Let's... live together, but for their health, we have to separate them. Hey, give me, they're not, oh, no, you, you broke their hearts. I broke the, I broke the, I broke them a little bit. Anyway, uh, we're going to stick these into the oven. I just uh, take a little bit off my thumb, I already hate them. Gross. Uh, I think it's 400 for about 20 minutes, so. Okay, so we are back. Uh, it's been 20 minutes, and these guys uh, have come out of the oven. Puffed up. Puffed up. So my first impression, uh, the smell is kind of odd. I I don't know. I I feel like I've smelled. I've smelled that smell before. I'm not sure where. Would you? Did you ooh that smell? Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, it's kind of like a funky kind of smell. So I think it's the I I think that it's a combination of the tapioca flour, which I feel like has a very distinct sort of smell to it, and then also this. What I'm gonna guess is probably gonna be like a very uh, like canned pepperoni or like pizza smell, like pizza flavoring stuff. Right. Uh, so the texture is very. Um, <laughs> it's very dry skin like so it's got uh, kind of like a cracked kind of shell on it mm -hmm. it's not the most appealing uh, looking it just reminds me of like the heel of your foot oh my god you know I mean I see what you're saying but it also I'm not I'm not saying it's gonna be gross I'm just saying it looks it doesn't look very appetizing to me very hot so the inside is very um, plain <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing in there. Uh, it's just the dough. So I'm not sure where the... So I guess it's just cheese. So there's no... I thought there was tomato or something in here too, but... Anyway, let me try it. Mm -hmm. Click. I can't tell if it's underbaked or if that's the actual cheese. Hmm. I mean... The inside is chewy. And to me... I'm pretty sure that's the tapioca flour. Cause it almost tastes like mochi. Right, it's got like a like a springy It's like gummy. Gummy paste. But also like that is kind of uh, kind of adjacent to like cheese. So it's not that crazy. Yeah, I mean they're not they're not awful. They're 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 tasty, I guess. I was expecting some kind of tomato flavor as well. Mm. I would never guess these were pizza. No. I would get. I, would I don't get, know why they're called pizza. Um, I get uh, cheese, 
Like, I mean, it's cheese bread. Right. But they're calling it three cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. I get the three cheese part of it, but I don't necessarily get the pizza part of it. So, I don't know. What are you doing? All right, we have some cold pizza sauce that we're gonna dunk these in. Apparently. Well, these are really hot, so. I mean, I, do, I think having a dipping sauce or something definitely helps it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes it more pizza-y. I don't mind eating these by themselves. No. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. Um, so out of out of five... Out of five? What are you gonna rate this? Uh, probably like a three. Um, it's not really my favorite thing. I don't know if I would go back to this. I think the chewy part on the inside is like, is weird that, that it's like crusty on the outside and chewy on the inside. Right. Um, I don't know. I mean, it, it might be. I don't think they're underdone. Under, I don't, don't think, think they're underdone. Under, no, I don't think they're underdone. Okay. Because I don't well. think the outside could get. I feel like the outside, if it got browner, wouldn't be any better. Yeah, I don't know, but they're definitely cooked all the way through. So I'm gonna give it. A, I'm also gonna give it a three. I wish there was more pizza. If there was more pizza flavor to mm -hmm. it, I would definitely give it like a four or a four and a half. But yeah, um, by themselves they're fine. It's uh, I don't know. I'd be curious to see what the other flavors taste like. There's like a cheese flavor in Asiago. Right, and so that's the thing is like this to me just tastes like like cheese. Um, the basil that I'm getting and stuff like that I only pick up when I'm when I have a pizza sauce with it, which is like very basil-y, the sauce. Right. So I don't think there's a lot of that like. It just tastes like savory cheese. Right. Me. So. Um, also, uh, these were kind of expensive. They were like five bucks, I think. Okay. Um, so hmm. it's a it's definitely like a like a higher end product that I don't know that I don't know I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. I don't know. I'm sorry, Brazzy Bites, but I I have some some issues with with this. Uh, with these pizza, yeah, uh, this might be. Bites. I don't. I don't think in general this. There's anything like wrong with these. Just no. for me, it doesn't really hit all the notes that I that I wanted to. No. Excuse me. Apparently, I'm full of brazzy bites. Uh, but I think like this could be this could be something somebody else would really like. I don't think these are disgusting or anything. They're just yeah. like not my fave. So anyway, um, thanks guys for watching. If you have any suggestions on pizza flavored food items that you'd like me to try or like pizza ingredients, like sauce, cheese, flour, whatever you want me to try, try out. Um, just just comment below and I'll check them out. So uh, thanks guys for watching again. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time. Ciao for now. Smell you later. Was the son of a pizza man